Hi, my name is Jim Fanning. I'm the Internet Liaison for the Chicago Section ASQ. Uh, this is a brief introductory video to show you how to use WordPress.com so you can change your profile and your account password. So we're just going to start right in and assume you've already logged in to the WordPress dashboard. And if you're an author, this is what you should see. Over here on the left side are a bunch of menu options and this left sidebar menu is going to change depending on what level you are. This is what you'll see if you're an author. Editors, contributors have different levels of menus. Over here you'll see who you're logged in as. For this demo I'm logged in as a new author and from here I can either log out or edit my profile. I can also access my profile settings over here on the sidebar menu. And that brings me to the profile options page. First it starts out with personal options, things like the color scheme you want to use when you're uh, in your post editor, different uh, keyboard shortcuts that you can enable or disable, proofreading options, and uh, different uh, editing options. All of these things are set at your personal level. I'm not going to go into detail about this. Uh, your feel, feel free to poke around and see what uh, combination you come up with that uh, you enjoy. Post by email is another option. If you have a WordPress account dot com a uh, uh, WordPress dot com account, uh, you probably know more than I do, so you're probably not even watching this video. But uh, uh, if you're interested in looking into getting a WordPress dot com account, uh, go ahead and log in there and see what they have uh, available for you. If you link your account to your profile here, you'll be able to use the post by email feature. Basically, they just give you a cryptic email address, and when you send a post or whatever you text or, or actually write as an email to that address, will uh, show up as a post here on the site. Here you can see your username. This is set by the admin, so it can't be changed. But right below that, you have your first, last, and nicknames. These things are things that you can change. You can just, uh, change how your name appears to the public. Contact info uh, is required as your email address. Your website, that can be a business website or a, uh, a LinkedIn profile or, or any site of your choosing. Biographical info goes here. Just type in a brief biography. Keep, try, try to keep it uh, kind of brief and compared to the other ones. And down here is where you can change your password. There's two fields. Type in the password you want to use and whatever that is. Uh, it'll get evaluated. Try to use a strong password. Put the same password in the field down here until you get a match. And then click the update profile at the bottom here and that will change your password. That simple. And last thing down here is the avatar. If you choose to have your picture uh, show on the website as part of your profile, it'll show right adjacent to your bio information that you put in up here. Uh, just upload a photo from your PC. You should know how to be able to do that. And once you have selected a file, you can hit the upload button and that picture will appear right below this Gravatar right here. Just a little bit about Gravatar. Gravatar is an outfit that has a website at gravatar.com. What they do is uh, they offer the ability for you to uh, create a profile that's compatible with WordPress. Uh, if you want more information, click on the More Information link and, uh, link and uh, explore that at your leisure. Uh, that's basically just to get you started so you can know what uh, WordPress looks like. Uh, posts, go into posts. It's all pretty self-explanatory. You should be able to uh, manipulate your posts, but not others. But you'll see them all. If you want to add a new post, just go here and add new. And it opens up the editor. And the editor is your standard uh, basic editor, nothing fancy here. I would encourage you to uh, use uh, the standard fonts and the standard headers that are available in the system. You can expand the menu here so you can see, uh, that's this button here by the way, show and hide the kitchen sink as they call it. And you can change formatting by selecting the text and using the different heading formats down here. That's just a quick start. Your word count will always be down here. And uh, once you're ready, you can save it as a draft, 
preview it, and then publish it to the world. And that's the end of the brief introductory video. You hope, I Hopefully you've learned enough now so that if you've never used WordPress before, the first time you go into it, you won't be in a completely foreign land, and you'll be able to get a few things done. Have a great day.